That's you and they're talking about. Hey, Gleese puts me in, I'm gonna put a hole through them reds. Yeah? We're gonna fight at him and swing him back. <laughs> hey. Give me a page, Lefty. It's time, Claude, you promised. Gleason caught him sneaking back at the curfew one night in Philly. Asked him what his wife would think. And he said that's who he'd gone to see. His own wife on the road? Pitiful. A couple or the whole bit? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you guys talking about? What about Jax? The Swede's pitching him right now. He'll come around. Because the truth is Joe ain't in. I ain't in. So what if they find out that you're dealing double, huh? You cross a guy like Ross Steen, they're gonna find you in the gutter with your little toes curled up. Sit. We lose one more game and it's over. We dump four games, I only even paid for one. You don't know what these guys are like. Once you're in, you're in for good. You can't welch on these guys. The bomb's bursting. They promised us all 20,000 each, but all I saw was five. What am I gonna do, call a cop? <laughs> you look pretty good out there for a guy dumping games. Something must have come over me. You mean you double-cross the gamblers? No, no, I'm a man of my word. So, why'd you do it, Hap? Somebody lean on you? Everybody else was getting so. And I figured without the pitches, we're gonna lose anyway, so why shouldn't I get fat, too? Maybe dumb, fellas, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if the players had really been crooked and lost the third game, you would have been satisfied. I think that the greatest ball club I've ever seen, period. It takes or promises to throw a game. No player who sits in conference with a bunch of crooked players and gamblers where the ways and means of throwing a ball game are discussed and does not promptly tell his club about it will ever play professional baseball again.